Griddle Master. Cooking up the good stuff. Hey, Griddle Master Joe here with you. All right, guys, listen up. Look at all these ingredients. It's really not that much stuff. But when you're in the doghouse and you need to make something for your woman, so that way you could try to get out of the doghouse, this is what you want to do. These are called Japanese souffle pancakes. So they're beautiful. We're going to show them. How about right about now? We'll show you what they look like. Aren't these beautiful? So David, this is where you can hand them on the screen. So um, it takes a little bit of effort, but the reward will be great. Okay, so at this time, I'm going to bring Mrs. Griddle Master in. So she didn't hear any of what I just said. So that way she knows, doesn't know that I'm going to be able to get out of the doghouse with this. But anyway, let's bring her in. Mrs. Griddlebaster, come on over here. What you making, babe? <laughs> um, I'm not going to make it. I'm going to let you make it for me so um, you can get out of the doghouse. Okay, that's what I'm doing, getting out of the doghouse. Uh huh. Remember that thing that you did to me that wasn't nice and <laughs> no. no. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. So we're we're gonna make what we call Japanese souffle pancakes. Okay. They're kind of puffy, like that tall. They mm -hmm. can be if if we do them right. But well, I'm here, so maybe not. <laughs> so what we have is we have uh, some egg whites. We're gonna have the recipe below. Hey, Kara. That's Kara. She's talking to us. She's a whiner. Okay. You're going to help? No, Wait, Kara. Go don't. lay down. Go on. Go lay down. All right. So the way we do this is we do it with making like a meringue. Okay. Do you know what a meringue is? I know what they are, but I don't know how to make them. Yes, you do. You whip them a whole bunch with meringue powder. The whole egg? You whip the whole egg? No, just the egg white. Yes. Okay. So we're going to have the recipe below. You can go down to the description and get the whole recipe. So go ahead. Let's do the egg whites. Put that in the Doing mixer. It. Yep. All right. And start mixing away. David, we didn't test this, but we're going to have a lot of noise happening here. This is my kitchen. Hi, I'm hi. Okay, so this is gonna mix for a while. Um, probably like five minutes. Okay. And then what we're gonna have is we're gonna have some granulated sugar. We have some... Um, baking powder? We have... That's baking powder. What's that? Baking powder. And we have some cornstarch. Now, once once the um, eggs start to peak, start to get real frothy, we're gonna add the sugar in thirds. So you'll dump. In your case, I would really appreciate if you stop the stop stop the mixer. Okay. Put a third in there, and then turn it on. And okay. Does that work for you? Yes. Okay. Okay. So while we're waiting, while we're waiting for that, I'm gonna take a bowl. This is Griddle Master. Okay. Take a bowl. And let's combine the yolks. Get a whisk. Okay, a whisk. Okay, the egg yolk, okay, and the uh, milk, which is heavy, I'm sorry, just whole milk. Oh, this is supposed to be the that. And the vanilla. 
And this is supposed to be with that. This is supposed to be with that. And the oil. Vegetable oil. Tilt, keep it tilted for a little bit. Uh, uh -huh. And the flour, which we wanted sifted. Dump it off. So you sift the flour just so it's. You can just take it. Alright, so go ahead and set it off. Do a third of that of the of the sugar. It's always safe to turn it off, so so that way nothing falls in or your fingers. How often? Probably we're, we're just letting that that sugar mix in well, so that's good enough. Drop the bowl if you want to. Okay. What's in there? Okay. Oh. Huh. Okay, so now we have it all mixed in pretty well. We're going to go ahead and drop the bowl down a little, and we're going to scrape it off the edges. So just to make sure that there's no sugar that has formed that's just sitting there that's not mixed or incorporated in, into all of the, the meringue. We're going to use that. Okay. Okay, so while that's going, we're going to go ahead and do the... Baking soda? Baking powder. Baking powder. Baking powder. Well, let me do the... Vinegar. Vinegar. Okay. And the corn starch. Okay. Let's do one last pull it off the wall. Go ahead and drop it down. I want to rotate it just a little. Hold it out for a minute. Because that's where I was dumping the powder and I want that off the wall. One, one last. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop it down so I get all the, the meringue off the whisk. The whisk. And that's how you know it's ready. When you push down and, and come up, look at that. That's beautiful. You know you want to lick it. Nope. Nope. All right. So now 
This is the part where you got to be careful and you want, you want to be just a little patient. So you're just going to take a little bit. So you get it in there and you're going to incorporate this. You don't have to be gentle here. You don't want to be crazy and push it and get rid of all the frothy. You just want to incorporate this into our mixture. That's good. Okay. Now, we're going to put some more. And this is where you're going to be careful. So I took about a little, almost half, I guess. And you just want to turn it into it. You don't want any white. You want it all to be that yellow. Which I see white, but I know I still have more coming in here to, to go in. Now, you can cook this in on your stove top. Obviously, Griddle Master Joe is going to go out to the griddle top and do this. But I'll talk to you out there about ways you could do it on your stove top and how you could do it on your griddle top. Okay, so here we are. We're outside. I'm getting the griddle top to get hot. I just turned it on. So, again, with the griddle top, typically, I will put it on high. Um, and I don't need them all on high. And I didn't. So, so I have these four on high. I'm just going to get the steel hot. So I'm going to let that go for about two minutes. And then I'm going to go all the way down to low. And then we'll, we'll start putting these on. So that's great. This is just three egg whites. And look how much is in there. Now what they do, what I've seen a lot of people do is they'll put it in like a Ziploc bag and then they'll like squirt it out on there. I'm going to try a little different. I haven't tried this method, but I'm just going to spoon it on and kind of to uh, scrape it out, you know, out and it's usually they do a perfect round and I have, I have a, an egg ring that, that comes in our large kit. Uh, at griddlemaster.com and this is a perfect size when you crack an egg in here to do English muffins but I'm gonna do that with this and just see how that one looks I'll probably do that a couple times just so that when we plate it up it looks all nice and pretty I'm gonna take some oil and just spray around around the edge because I really don't want it to stick when I go to lift that off. All right, so I'm gonna go to low. And I have my, my little dome, because I'm gonna cover it. When you're in the kitchen, you do a frying pan, you do it, and then you're gonna put a little bit of water around as you're gonna see me do. And this is like my lid of the frying pan that I'm gonna put on. Um, actually, I have to modify my egg ring so that way that'll go on top all right so let's do this We're just putting little blobs on there. Oops. That's too good to leave. Oh. Water. So then you're gonna squirt just a little bit of water.
rather use the big one. I really wish I could make, I, I, as you could tell, I've combined these to two. Two of the chafing dishes, the throwaway aluminum pans, I combined them, riveted them, and all that. But they get dirty over time, and there's no real easy way. I wish I could get them manufactured this size. That would be so awesome if we could sell that. So I'm going to try to look into, see what we could do. And... You know, the problem is, is shipping those are so big. But anyway, we're going to let those go for for just a couple minutes, and then I'm going to squirt a little more water in there, and we'll be back. I don't know how I'm going to get this one off without burning my hand. Okay, I want to flip these. I'm killing them! Oh, that one looks good. Perfect. So I am literally going to turn off all the burners out here and let that go. Two more minutes. I'm going to go ahead and squirt a little more water. That's the steam that helps them. We have our plate that we're going to put them on. We have some powdered sugar. So again, guys, this is your get out of the doghouse. Not that we're ever in the doghouse, right? Ever. So when you, if you let it get where one side is hotter, so much hotter than the other, make sure. Okay, I want that, I want that to cook a little more. So I just put one burner back on just for a little bit because the, the last thing you want is for it not to be cooked and more, more raw. So that wouldn't be real good. All right, this should do it. Look how nice those look. And we'll take some powdered sugar. All right, so we took the ones that kind of went down a little bit. 
So usually, like in the in the photo, you see they're puffed up. So go ahead, let's try it. How do you like it? Good. Would this get me out of the doghouse if I had some strawberries around and some blueberries around the outside? Maybe. And I were to hand feed you? With no syrup. Oh, with no syrup. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I have syrup on all of them. Mm -hmm. But this is your syrup. Mm -hmm. It doesn't need syrup? So, I know. guys, put the syrup in a little cup and see if your wife wants syrup or not. Wow, that's really good texture. I like it. This will get you out of the doghouse. Okay. Okay. So, mm -hmm. anyway, Griddle Master Joe here, Mrs. Griddle Master. Hope you've enjoyed Mrs. Griddle Master mixing, it, mixing up the good stuff. Here we go. Do you have anything you want to tell your fans? So you download the recipe and put it in the DH folder, the doghouse folder. Okay? <laughs> so whenever you're in the doghouse, you just go access that folder and say, aha. Okay? We have one of those. In my email, <laughs> uh, Griddle Master, I have a folder that says doghouse. And I have things in there. Anyway. He's literally never in the doghouse. He's just talking trash. What? What? Not you. So remember to like us on something, subscribe to us on something else, ring the bell, ding somewhere. ding, <laughs> ring the bell somewhere. We appreciate you guys. If you do that, then you get notified every time a video comes out. We appreciate, you know, all the communication back and forth. All of you, she, she gets to hear me talk to all of you because people call and they just we just want to talk about grilling, man. We want to have ideas of cool things to do. Mm -hmm. Do you cook that much? Nope. Do you clean up a lot? Yes. We appreciate you guys. Uh, take care, and we'll see you on the next video.